could offer just a brief update on what's going on uh, at the seminary. Um, I know we've tried to communicate updates at different times, but uh, it, my sense is when you're in a time of change, it's hard to over communicate. And so I want to just share a little bit about what's happening between, uh, or an update on what's happening between Philadelphia and Gettysburg as we work together to become United Lutheran Seminary. Um, in the past couple of weeks, we've, we've received uh, not just uh, approval, but really the strong affirmation from a couple of important bodies, including the State of Pennsylvania Department of Education, uh, the Middle States accreditors connected to the U.S. Department of Education, and the Association of Theological Schools, our uh, theological accrediting body, who not only kind of gave us the green light on this work to become one school, but offered their affirmation and a word of encouragement and thanks recognizing that there are a lot of schools that are gonna to need to be <laughs> uh, living in darkness for a time. <laughs> um, there are a lot of schools that will need to be rethinking their future in creative ways if their mission is to continue uh, in a vibrant way. Um, and in fact, a lot has been going on that's been affirmed by a number of you, our constituents, alumni, and supporters. Uh, this year and last year, we've had two of our best years for our annual fund in a number of years. We had an increase uh, at both at the Gettysburg campus and the Philadelphia campus of 50% in terms of our NBIV enrollments uh, this last year. Um, uh, and so there's a lot of indicators of strength and we are on target to launch the new school, United Lutheran Seminary, as of July 1st of this year. Um, that isn't to say it's all been easy. Uh, the personnel issues particularly as we identify the first faculty and try to come up with a staff uh, that is both something we can sustain and mm -hmm. serves our mission is, is of course the hardest work. It's the one thing that keeps you up regularly at night because the people you work with you know well and care about and everyone that has been here has given their best to the school. Um, we have identified the faculty of United Lutheran Seminary. It's at this point entirely made up of the faculties of Gettysburg and Philadelphia. Uh, and we were able to engage our colleagues in discussion about their own discernment and desires and hopes. Uh, and everyone who wanted a position at the new school has received a position. Uh, and we are currently at work with our staff, uh, posting the positions that are available for the new school. Uh, and we'll entering into that process of interviewing. And I would ask you to continue to keep all of us in prayer because this is the hard work, uh, if also the important work. Um, both schools are also looking at their campuses uh, and thinking about how we can steward some of the assets that we have been entrusted with to strengthen our mission moving forward. Uh, we are now in a, in a process that has been guided at Philadelphia by two groups. One, Partners for Sacred Places, has helped us engage our community neighbors to think about how this campus can be, continue to be a gift to the larger community and whatever development we do will serve uh, the larger community well. Um, and we're now in a place of working and selecting a master developer to help us think about how to use some of the perimeter campus. When that process is done, and I think this is probably you know, two at the low end, four years, uh, until we're uh, finished uh, and with the creation of United Lutheran Seminary, we'll have achieved really <clears throat> a, a, an incredible amount. Um, the new school will launch with a balanced budget, which will be the first balanced budget on the Philadelphia side uh, for 15 years. Um, we will be able to pay off the debt we've been carrying for this building at more than $10 million right now through the campus renewal. Uh, we will be able to replenish the endowment, which has been drawn down at different times in our history. Uh, and we will be offering, uh, as we started this year, full tuition scholarships uh, to all full-time residential ELCA students and matching all contributions from congregations and church bodies for all of our other students, really trying to make it possible for all students study, to study here uh, tuition-free. And I will say again, we could not do that without not only the tremendous work that's going in to reorganize ourselves in a more sustainable way, but without your partnership. Uh, every once in a while, someone will ask me, full tuition scholarships, why are you doing that? And the question I will always ask in response is, do you know what the total cost of attendance uh, of <clears throat> it is for a midshipman to attend Annapolis or for a cadet to go through West Point? Uh, and the answer, of course, is zero. 
because they will pledge to serve their country uh, for five years. The graduates of this school will serve their church well and faithfully for well beyond five years, and we are trying to cultivate a shared sense, a cooperative sense of theological education, where our leaders receive their training as a gift of the church, a gift they pay back over the years of their career, and where our congregations recognize that everyone has a vested interest uh, in training the leadership for the church so that we can sponsor not only our particular student, but give to strengthen the seminary and make it possible for all students to come through. Um, there, this is a, an incredibly important time for seminaries. There is a, an, a remarkable clergy shortage in a number of our traditions, and particularly acute in the LCA. Um, and yet at the same time, we need to strengthen and reimagine these institutions in ways that serve the church. So I am grateful that you are here to enjoy what we have to offer today, and I'm grateful for you, the ministries you are doing in a variety of places and ways and the hard and faithful work you undertake and I'm also grateful for you for your support of this mission and this ministry as we continue to prepare leaders for the church uh, in Philadelphia.